Hello and welcome to a video about Pink Floyd. Yes, Pink Floyd, The Endless River is coming out in 2014, October 2014 to be more precise, and it is a new Pink Floyd album. Can you believe it? I certainly can't. Uh, I made a video about this the day it happened, like an hour after it was announced. Um, so I wanted to get in there quick, but I just I just didn't get around to posting the video. And so I, I'm just going to leave it now. Just just do it all in this one video and get it all out of the way. So I don't need to get there first now. It's, you know, it's old news at this point, but still. I've got two fans pointing at me in the minute, so if you can hear that in the background, I apologize. But it is 30 plus degrees today, and it is absolutely roasting. It's one of the hottest things I've experienced outside of Florida. Yeah. It's a nightmare, honestly. I couldn't sleep at all last night. Anyway, Pink Floyd, The Endless River, a new album coming out in October 2014. Um, you know, Polly Sampson, David Gilmore's wife, she tweeted it out, and I was just like, this can't be right. Surely she's, it's a wind-up or something. Uh, but no, it was it was real, and it was very, you know, uh, not like Pink Floyd to do that, really. Oh, nice breeze just came in. Uh, it was very unlike Pink Floyd to just kind of unceremoniously announce something through one of the band members' wives, you know? It just seemed a bit odd. But, um, and there was an official quiet confirmation on the official website on Monday. Um, also, Durga uh, McBroom, I think is her name, uh, is a backing singer, and she kind of um, appeared on most of the shows that um, Pink Floyd did through 87, through to 94, the Motu Laps of Reason tour, the Division Bell tour. I think she performed with Dave Gilmore uh, on some of his solo um, shows as well. And there was a picture of her kind of doing some backing vocals, it seems, with Gilmore in the shot, kind of, you know. Uh, guiding them I guess whatever you want to say and uh, the pictures posted a while ago but not too long ago and it was kind of speculated that was from an upcoming solo album that has been rumored from him for quite a while you know the last one he did was in 2006 it's been you know quite a while and um, but she came out on the day that you know Polly Sampson tweeted out and said yep yeah, I was uh, actually doing uh, backing vocals on a Pink Floyd album so um, the speculation of what it would be came from the tweet that she sent out saying that um, it was going to be kind of Rick Wright's swan song, and uh, it was based on kind of 94 sessions. Uh, which means that the last album Pink Floyd made in 1994, The Division Bell, uh, and if you've read Nick Mason's book, he talks about how they had a lot of ambient recordings that they, they'd uh, recorded, and you know, uh, instrumental stuff that they were thinking about putting together as a project called The Big Spliff at the time. And um, yeah, apparently that's basically what this album is going to be, is, is going back to that, but with, you know, Gilmore and you know, possibly Nick Mason kind of augmenting that, extrapolating upon that was a phrase that was used actually by someone, and um, uh, adding vocals and things like that. And there was a set list, not set list, I'm sorry, a track listing that was leaked, um, but nothing has really come of that. I don't know if that's official or not. It could very easily be faked, but, um, you know, I, I'd expect to see a couple of writing credits from Rick Wright on this because, you know, obviously it's stuff that he kind of put down, uh, you know, the the tracks for or whatever, the music and everything, and I, I'd imagine that Gilmore would be singing over some of those, and then, again we saw some backing singers were brought in, so it'll be interesting to see where it goes. Um, I know that Darren Locke wasn't that um, enthused by it really, um, but you know, I'm definitely not like, you know, oh this is going to be the best thing ever, but I, it's not that I never thought I'd live to see the day. It's not like, well, I never thought that those guys would live to see the day where they release another Pink Floyd album. Um, to me, I, I almost feel like it should be you know, I agree with some people. Maybe it should have just been kind of a you know bonus disc on the uh, Division Bell 20th anniversary box set. Um, but to release it as its own album under the Pink Floyd banner in 2014 is an interesting choice. I'd like to hear more from from David on that and Nick, if possible. Uh, I don't know if we ever will, but um, it's cool. It's very cool. I mean, I'm excited about it because. I've never been around for a Pink Floyd album release. I've never been around for the hype, and I've never been around to that first listen to something new, even though it's 20 years old. And um, I'm interested. I am, and I was a big fan of Division Bell, and um, I'm a big Richard Wright fan as well. So I'm really excited that it's going to be kind of a, a send off to him almost, because uh, he passed away in 2008 very sadly. It was, I was awful because I just got into Pink Floyd. I've been into them for about six years, which isn't very long. I know there are people who've been fans of the band for over 40 years, but. For me, you know, I got into them at the end of 2007, and you know, within my first year being a fan, you know, Richard Wright dies, and it was just, uh, it really hit me as well because I really appreciated his side of the band, very much an underlooked member of the band, I think, uh, probably because he wasn't really at the forefront of all the drama that was going on uh, throughout the band's history and and so on. And the, the same could be said of Nick Mason, but I really appreciated Richard Wright's um, tone, you know, on the keyboards, and I think he really tied a lot of things together within the band uh, musically and uh, yeah and I can always relate to someone who's a, who's a shy person you know I mean David said a few days after he died that you know 
he was a very shy person and even after 40 years it was tough to get to know him even though they were very close um, and that was a tough one because I think um, David was going to appear on uh, uh, later with Jules Holland in 2008 to promote his uh, latest release which was a um, uh, kind of CD DVD uh, live album uh, live in Gdansk from his 2006 tour which Richard Wright appeared on and it was basically his final I think of it pretty much his final um, uh, you know gig with with David and because uh, it was the last gig of the, the On an Island tour in 2006 and it's a great one but uh, you know he was going to be on the Jules Holland show to promote it with Rick but three weeks before the the show he got a text from Rick saying he couldn't make it and a few days before that show appearance um, he passed away so a very um, sad interview with David Gilmore you know you could tell he was still quite cut up about it and was trying to remain in good spirits but you could tell it was really getting to him and I just remember feeling really sad about it and um, but yeah it'll be it's, it's gonna be really nice to, um, to to hear something that you know Richard had a part in and to kind of have a, a posthumous release from him I guess and I think it'll be really fitting and as someone who is a fan of the post Waters Pink Floyd era and I guess there's people who don't like that stuff at all but I'm a fan of that I'm a fan of all of it but I, you know I like that stuff and so I'm really looking forward to seeing what the endless river uh, will be all about. I mean, when I heard the title at first, I thought it sounded like a fan album. You know, it just sounded like, oh, the endless river. You know, uh, oh, by the way, I mean, just it just seemed like one of let's just pluck a, a lyric out of a Pink Floyd song and make it an album title. It's an interesting choice. I mean, it is one of the lines from High Hopes, which it's one of my favorite songs of all time, and uh, so I like that. I do like it, but at the same time, yeah, it maybe, maybe feels a little bit. Um, you know, just like, oh, we'll just use a thing we've already done. I don't know. But I still like it. You know, I'm, I'm kind of on the fence with it. Maybe about 60 40 in its favor. But yeah, The Endless River coming out in October 2014. So for me, the, I'm I'm kind of happy about it because Pink Floyd is my favorite band of all time. It will, always will be. Um, but, you know, I, it's been a few years since I've really listened to them religiously, you know. Um, but I've listened to most of their stuff and you know I've listened to at least something from every album but I've never gone through every single track on every single album um, you know all the classic stuff Dark Side of the Moon, Wish You Were Here, Animals, The Wall I've listened to those albums inside and out I know them inside and out but some of the earlier stuff you know and, and some of the later stuff as well like the final cut I've never really delved into um, I don't have that much um, knowledge of so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a series um, where I'll be reviewing all of the Pink Floyd albums from start to finish in the run-up to the release of The Endless River in October 2014. No big production or anything, I'll just listen to the album a couple of times and then I'll come and talk to you guys about um, what I think of all the songs and the, the history behind the album and the history of the band at that time. I do know a lot about the band but um, I'll look up some stuff as well, I'll get my facts straight before I uh, start saying things that might be wrong but yeah I'm excited to do it and hopefully there's some people out there who will enjoy it. I've always said variety is the spice of my channel and you know even though I do movie stuff I like to do other stuff as well so um, if you're not interested in that at all, then you probably haven't listened to the video this long, so it doesn't even matter. But stick around, you know, it won't be overtaking everything, but every week or so I'll chip away a couple of videos, I think, kind of a, a sonic journey through the history of Pink Floyd as we reach um, what will surely be the final album, The Endless River. So thank you for watching, that's been my thoughts on the new Pink Floyd album, and uh, I'll see you with the next one. He says he's really cool. But I think he's a tool. <laughs> Even though I'm sure he's a quite nice guy, really. He's a quite nice guy, really.